After being gifted James G. Frechette's files, CMN strove to produce the collection of revered scenes Frechette compiled in a show titled Gems of Yesteryear. In the inclusive spirit of the classic pageants, whose members famously walked through Kashina calling out, Pageant rehearsal tonight! to summon one and all. CMN held auditions so that interested community actors, dancers, technicians, and drummers could come become a part of the production. Once the show was cast, the actors went into CMN studio to record their lines. As was done by the pageant forebearers, we mixed the sound files with music and effects to create a score similar to a radio theater broadcast. We rehearsed the pantomimed blocking, hired lead dancers, solicited a drum, mapped out the dances, and plotted the lights. As was done in the past, our pre-show entertainment included a broadcast of an old Milwaukee Braves game and a sharing of memories about what traditional theater meant to the Menominee people. Then the sunset, and the show began. For the first time in a generation, traditional Menominee theater was performed in the space created to host it. As Pep Martin had assured us, the Woodland Bowl, under the cover of night, was a singularly powerful place for live performances. The show that night was nearly flawless. From the actors who rose to the moment, the audio that transported the crowd, the drum that guided our movement, and the dancers who made the evening come alive under the lights, the night was transformative. From the welcome narration to the closing traveling song, there was a palpable connection between the script, the performers, and the spectators who collectively celebrated the art form many had thought was lost to history. After the bows were taken, only one question remained. Which pageant were we going to stage next year? <laughs>